Hi everyone, Radhe Radhe. In this video, we're going to be doing chapter 8, verse 20. Um, here, now he talks about, in the, until now, he has talked about the manifest, unmanifest worlds that are universes and worlds and that are created uh, by Brahma and uh, that uh, keep going back and forth, back and forth, basically. And now he's going to be talking, now he's talking about the spiritual realm. He's starting to talk about that, I'm assuming. I'm assuming this is just the first verse where he's talking about that. So this is where we are all trying to go to. This is where our goal is. This is what we want. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting so super excited about this. I'm like with this understanding, you know, that it's all there in the Gita. I did not know all of this. All of these details are there in the Gita. It's so powerful. Okay, so let's sing this verse together. Parastasmatu bhavonyo vyakto vyakta tsanatanaha yahasa sarveshu bhuteshu nashyatsu na vinashyati. Okay. Yet there is another unmanifest nature which is eternal and transcendental to this manifested and unmanifested matter. So there's this, it's called unmanifest nature, this Krishna Lok, which is eternal and transcendental to this manifest, unmanifest, manifest, unmanifest. It is supreme and it is never annihilated. When this world is annihilated, that part remains as it is. Okay. So let's do word by word. Para tasmatu. Uh, tasmat is but, uh, tu is but, sorry, to that. So transcendental, but transcendental to that nature, bhava, bhava nature. There is another, anya, avyakta, unmanifest to the unmanifest, um, which is sanatana, eternal. Um, yes, yeah, sir, that which all bhuteshu manifestation being annihilated is never annihilated. No, vinashyati, vinashyati, vina, vinash is like, to end, to kill. Um, so, so Nashyatu is being annihilated. Like, so basically, the entire, uh, there is something, but there is something transcendental to that, which when the this entire Bhut issue is uh, in being annihilated, that is never annihilated. Okay, so the uh, commentary is very simple. Krishna's superior spiritual energy is transcendental and eternal. It is beyond all changes of material nature, which is manifest and annihilated during the days and nights of Brahma. His superior energy is completely opposite in quality to material. And the, these are explained in the seventh chapter, which we've already done. Okay. Um, what uh, Swami Mukundanan says as well is the same thing, um, that the material worlds are temporary and the eternal realm is beyond these material world. It is, um, and then eternal world is created by yoga maya. So I, yeah, basically there isn't much uh, commentary here, but uh, it helps. Okay, um, we will do this. That's it for this video. We'll do chapter 8 verse 21 in the next video. Wish you a day filled with lots and lots of spiritual growth and spiritual insights. And uh, um, yeah, <laughs> hope you're, uh, you have a wonderful day. Radhe, radhe.